Yes, I do. hundred percent. Well, first of all, but I mean, John, you're wearing a stuffed T-shirt. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> this was Gordon, Gordon Edwards is to me. Yes, I. But because yeah, because you're you're a a uh, you know. A, He's a, 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 well, you, no, and, and you're and you're a musician on the East Coast with a with a brain in his head. Um, <laughs> my dear, my dear friend Mick Gaffney has been playing with with Gordon and stuff too, since like the '90s, and I remember my my mother had a boyfriend when I was very, very young, uh, who I'm trying to remember the connection. I think Gordon was dating his cousin, Bruce's cousin. And all I know is I wound up at Kenny's Castaways when I was like six watching this band. And he was telling me it's this guy, his, his, his name is Gordon Edwards. And I think Esther Marrow was singing with them at the time. Oh, wow! And I remember just sitting in this room watching this watching this band i it, it sounds ridiculous to tell the story like i watched stuff at kenny's castaways when i was six but i like i like i yeah. like i know it happened you know <laughs> what i mean and then like years later after i went to berkeley and all that stuff came back to new york was trying to do the musician thing in new york and i knew mick and he says yeah i'm working you, you know this band you know you know the band stuff with gordon edwards i'm like do i know stuff sure and so i started hanging around watching stuff too with mick and gordon and all the new york cats that were, were playing i think mike clark then. was playing drums mike that. clark was playing drums um chris parker would show up occasionally um and then mick started getting me up to like sing uh with with, with them and and gordon always had this very sort of like you know he would eye me very suspiciously like me oh yeah he's a bass player and gordon would be like oh yeah <laughs> yeah. And um, and and then now I don't know if you you're probably aware Gordon does these birthday parties every year or was yeah. you know before the pandemic, and um, one year I got up and sang "Love of Mine." This is the vocal tune that Gordon sings, right. and I was and I was and I was allowed to choose, like they were selling the T-shirts, and <laughs> um, they were like, "No, no, no, take one, no, please," you know, because Gordon loves when when you sing that song. So yeah, it's if you're if you're. Well, a, I've been trying to get him on our show. Uh, there's a woman named Naima Williams. Okay. Who who is I, I guess some sort of liaison. So we're trying mm -hmm. to do it. But what happened? Um, I don't know if I'll keep this in anyway, or or, or <laughs> edit it out too. So there's a Mikel site on Facebook. Yeah. All right. So I wrote um, a little something where I went. You know, I used to go to Mikel's every night. That stuff was there until Joe Conker ruined it. And I literally said that in it because then it, it got too crowded. Oh, uh, uh, okay. yeah. I was going right? to ask, what does that what does that mean? But okay, yeah. So I would sit as far away from my from Gordon as I am from my computer screen right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just watch. He never went above the seventh fret. And you know, people know me as a chops bass player. Uh -huh. I still think Gordon Edwards has had more effect on me than any one bass player, except for maybe Michael Henderson when he was playing with Miles. Because I really am an on the one player. And there's a song on the on the Stuff album, oh, Do You Want Some of This? Yeah. Which, which is, is funny, probably... I, 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 I forget which title is... Uh, that's the one that goes switch. boom. Boom! Oh, yeah. Boom. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so that tune is yeah. important i think for everybody who plays the bass to mm -hmm. listen to at least a hundred times oh yeah it, oh, it yeah. is so on the one so in the pocket uh but so what ended up happening i i did this long diatribe about my love for gordon edwards this woman naima williams um contacts me and says gordon was really touched by your da 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, get him on my show, please. Uh, I'll so, see what I, I'll, 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 I'll make a few inquiries. I think. If oh, that would if be he, great, John. If he's up, well, if he's up for it, I know that he's had some sort of health challenges yes, in the last yeah. couple of years. But I think if he's, if he can, if he can hold his, hold the phone up to his face, I think he ought to, <laughs> you ought to do it. By the way, I think this 
should be like, th no this is this is um a, a it's warner, greatest hits it's a warner archives disc oh, okay. i don't even know if it's available yet the montro thing that's another that's another yeah. thing this is sort of like a, a greatest hits okay thing right with with extensive liner notes from chris parker this disc oh, should, be, should be issued to like every college music student you get your student id and a copy of this <laughs> as, as far as far as i'm concerned in terms of making like I mean, if you can't, if you can't yeah. make a band move. Exactly. That, and I think for busy you know, bass players, yeah. it's very important because if you're going to be busy, if you hear busy, you still got to have that going on. Right. Uh, and if you think about McCartney, he had a lot of that going on. For sure. You know? so for sure. See how we segue it back? It's very good. I was Absolutely. waiting for that, David. I was waiting. One more, Tom? One more quick, <laughs> one more quick stuff story. <laughs> <laughs> One more quick stuff story. Happy Together Tour 2016. I'm like four or five days in and I'm just, it's it's been like four or five nights in a row and I'm like burnt out and I'm tired and I'm sleep deprived and I'm away from home and I'm just, you know, like the tour fatigue has kicked in like much quicker than it usually does. And I've just, I've got like all of these like turtles and 60s songs playing in my head simultaneously and it's driving me up a freaking wall i go into the bunk and i open up my laptop and i go on youtube and i find stuff live at montreux <laughs> and i hear <laughs> and i hear gordon's half notes root five oh, yes and sir. i started weeping i was like oh god new york John, so many times I would leave at uh, <laughs> McHale's after just watching yeah. not so much Gordon, but Richard's left hand yes. going, oh, I give God. up. That's it. <laughs> well, David, yeah. I yeah. searched out so much weird shit. Do you know that there's a, uh, it's a Tim Finn album? Richard T's on it. Really? And he does solo. Ah, that's it. Well, well, David, tell the George Porter story where George and the Meters, uh, there was this new band opening up for them, and it was stuff. And what did George say? He ran back, so he watched the the whole gig in Tanley, was the original stuff, 75, 76. And he ran back to the rest of the Meters. He goes, what the hell are we going to play? These guys just played everything. <laughs> <laughs> and George, and yeah. Because I, I said to the reason that came up with our George Porter interview, I said, you ever hear stuff they were sort of like the new york you hmm. yeah right <laughs> i think because so there's never an know. la you because that could <laughs> never happen oh tom scott got close but yeah, still yeah. props to scott and the la express <laughs> Thank you.